So this is just going to be a very informal video discussing some things because that's what Technology Connections 2 is all about. This footage that you're looking at is the footage I took on the landing into Chicago from Los Angeles, which this flight was on Southwest, so we're going into Midway Airport. And I specifically took this video because I knew that it would help illustrate the light pollution problem that the video is about. Now, what I want to discuss here is a thing about camera autofocus that has always kind of just baffled me. It seems, it seems very counterintuitive based on the way my knowledge of autofocus works. Anyway, so you can see that the camera keeps losing focus, right? Uh, right now, it doesn't look too terrible. Everything's pretty locked in. But what is weird, and you know, all sorts of cameras have this problem when you're looking, when it's a dark environment, looking at things that are lit up, it's hard to see or it's hard for the camera to focus, but the thing is that just doesn't make sense because based on my knowledge of how autofocus systems work, if it's not a phase detection system like in a DSLR, it's looking for contrast between some pixels. It's trying to get the highest amount of contrast between, yeah, they're just lost focus. And the thing that's weird is that you would think that this scenario would be easy for it to maintain focus because it has all these points of light and if it's looking for contrast between adjacent pixels or close pixels, every time it's going out of focus like this and it's struggling, I, keep, I kept having to tap the screen to get it to come back into focus. It just, you know, it doesn't seem like, it just baffles me, right? Because if the cameras, if the autofocus system is comparing pixels next to each other and trying to maximize contrast, it has all these points of light that it should try to make as small as it can make them and yet it confuses it. And you know, I've noticed this all you know, for years, going back to like VHSC camcorders that we used when I was a kid. If you're trying to photograph like fireworks or you know, um, anything at night with or like Christmas displays, when we were trying to make videos of that sort of thing, it just does not stay focused on the points of light. And it just, I don't know, part of me, I'm sure I could do some research into why this happens, but it always has seemed very counterintuitive to me that the autofocus system of a camera struggles with points of light because it, it would seem to me, you know, like uh, you put a focus grid down to give something a focus aid. You have a very sharp, high contrast thing so that the camera can easily set focus. Well, that's what this is. You're looking at a bunch of points of light, tiny points of light in a field of black, and you would expect that to be wonderful for autofocus. It should know these tiny things, once they're as tiny as I can make them, lock that focus, and yet it keeps switching. Now, before you tell me, oh, you could have set manual focus to infinity, unfortunately on the OnePlus 3's camera app, you cannot set manual focus for video, at least if you can. I can't figure out how to do it. But anyway, so I just wanted to share this. And you know, does it, um, if anybody has, anybody knows of a reason why autofocus struggles with this sort of thing, please enlighten me. Ha ha. Uh, and I'll, you know, I'll, how far are we into this video here? about halfway. I'm just talking while I'm watching it. I'm going to throw it together. Um, we'll give you a bit of trivia. I said I'm flying Southwest Airlines, which only flies into Midway. And in Chicago, there are two airports. Midway is the one that you would never go to if you're flying basically any other airline. Uh, some airlines do go to Midway besides Southwest, but it's, oh, I guess it's on the hour. My watch beeped. But uh, mid, if you go to Midway, it's almost hilarious. It's almost only Southwest. They have practically the entire airport to themselves, but most other flights go to O'Hare, which is, you know, the major airport. Um, it's always either like the second or most busy airport. It's always like tied with Atlanta, the Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport. But I'll throw up on a map the scale of O'Hare versus Midway. Midway is one square mile, and it is actually in the city of Chicago. O'Hare is technically in the city of Chicago, but not really. It's in DuPage County. It's nowhere It's nowhere near the city, but it is technically still the city of Chicago. But in any case, uh, so I'm, reason, I'm just bringing this up is because since Midway is one square mile, 
the runways go diagonally and it's a pretty short runway so every time you take off and land at midway it's a little more um, of a harrowing experience than your average airport I would say but I'll let this video play out and you can enjoy the landing at Chicago Midway Airport at about midnight Chicago time